Investments in basic education is globally acknowledged as one of the most effective ways of engineering development that facilitate the achievement of other national development goals and increase the probability that progress will be sustained. In Nigeria, the Universal Primary Education Scheme was first launched in 1976, followed by the National Policy on Education in 1977. By 1999, it was rebranded as Universal Basic Education and later signed into law in 2004. For any meaningful development to take place in any society, there will be a need for proper study of that society or environment. So when His Excellency came into power in 2015, because he very well known that uh, education is the uh, is the bedrock for every uh, aspect of development in any society. So he decided to constitute a committee that goes around to assess the situation of education in the state. On receiving uh, the report of that committee, uh, which was very alarming, His Excellency decided to declare a state of emergency on education. So on this, based on this, uh, the largest percentage or the highest percentage of our budgetary provision goes to education since that time. That is from 2016 budget to date. According to Part 1, Section 2, Subsection 1 and 2 of the Universal Basic Education Act 2004, every government in Nigeria shall provide free, compulsory and universal basic education for every child of primary and junior secondary school age, and that every parent shall ensure that his or her child or ward attend and complete his or her primary school and junior secondary school education. Despite these provisions, Nigeria has more children growing up without formal education than any other country in the world. This substantial proportion of children growing up outside of formal educational support and oversight throughout the country is considered alarming. It is, it is true that uh, we have quite a number of, uh, of uh, out-of-school children in Sokoto State, but not as over-exaggerated by, mm -hmm. by, by certain uh, uh, organizations. And uh, this last year and this year alone, we have been able to reduce the number of out of children by 45%. In Sokoto State, Nigerian policy on education states that basic education, nine-year basic education is compulsory and free. But in Sokoto State, it is not only basic education, even the secondary school education is compulsory and is free. Government doesn't charge a child a single kobo. Even non-indigenous enjoy resident communities, enjoy purely basic and secondary education in Sokoto State. Immediately this government came, it declared state emergency on education and a committee was constituted to find out the problems of education in the state and proffer solution to these problems. I was a member of that committee, of, of a needs <coughs> assessment committee, not the technical committee. And we went around schools in Sokoto State. I think we, we went around schools across the 23 local government areas and we, we sampled over 300 schools. We found their problems. We came up with a blueprint on, 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 on solving these problems and a report was given to the state government. And I don't think uh, I have seen any uh, implementation of the report of that committee. Yes, there were recommendations, but I think there were also solutions to the problems. Now, the state government has not clearly issued any white paper on, on the problems, let alone indicate people what they have met and what they have been able to do. So I think significantly, people cannot say that they have seen that improvement that they expect or they expected in the beginning as far as education is concerned in the states. But we cannot, that does not mean nothing has been done. Of course, something has been done, but I don't think, in my opinion, it is as uh, significant as many people expected, especially with the so much noise about, made about uh, the educational sector giving higher budget uh, uh, proportion and so on and so forth. I think uh, I would say that it is not that significant. Over the years, state government across the Federation have been struggling to reverse the trend. 
Notable among them is the Nigeria's northwestern state of Sokoto. In 2015, former Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives Amin Waziri Tambwal was sworn into office as governor of the state, worried that Sokoto, which was an acclaimed center of learning during the pre-colonial and post-colonial period, had lost such educational glory in the country. Governor Amin Waziri Tambwal in that same year declared a state of emergency on the education sector and passed into law the Right to Education Bill 2016 to make education free and compulsory at both basic and secondary school levels in Sokoto State. By that action, the governor effectively domesticated the UBE Act, which was followed by a major state, an increase in the state budgetary allocation on education. All school is renovated, where the administrative block, uh, construction of uh, new staff room, classroom, laboratories, and hostel, they are all renovated in order and how it's supposed to be. That's why I say we are number one. It's not only signing the guide here. A lot of schools, when you go to Toreta, you will see the same thing. Shegumi, the, the game is online now, isn't it? At the same time, other schools, Dogundaji also, very good. ABS is Dogundaji. Yes, the, the, the project the, is on top there now, presently. When you go there, you will witness it. The time this school were renovated or being renovated or about to be renovated, or the time they have started, my students were asking me that, sir, are we going to stay in this school? Maybe this school is going to be converted to high institution. I told them no. I told them no. It will remain as unity surrounding school standing there. At the end, you can see the outcome. We get new classes, uh, hostel, the electricity everywhere, if you can see. You are eyewitness, isn't it? And we have our own is to maintain the school. If you can see, the school is well maintained, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, we are taking care of the school. I have to appreciate the effort of the state government. More grace on the government elbow, actually. So I want this intervention to be a, a continuous process no problem of any kind. We are highly related. We understand ourselves. We understood ourselves, actually. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are going together, shoulder to shoulder. When Governor Amini came, what he did was uh, to constitute a committee to study thoroughly the situation of education in Sokoto State and advise accordingly what ways forward. And uh, based on the report of that committee, the governor decided to put in place a, a, a state of emergency in the area of uh, especially basic and secondary education, which is the bedrock of uh, uh, the education. And uh, since then, uh, we have been able to achieve quite a lot. Uh, what the governor first did was to provide for the only local government in Nigeria out of 774, I think, local governments who have in Nigeria, the only local government that doesn't have a secondary school, a senior secondary school, and that is Gudu local government. He constructed a magnificent uh, a secondary school costing over 2 billion naira for that local government, which is uh, no doubt a great uh, achievement. And uh, following the declaration of a state of emergency, the governor also constituted a committee uh, 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 under the uh, distinguished chairmanship of His Eminence the Sultan uh, of Sokoto, uh, which committee constitute all stakeholders in the area of education, including uh, 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 private sector and, uh, and, uh, and uh, international donor organizations. Uh, which has been doing quite a lot in the area of education. B is war. 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 C is war. We can see go. So these are the correct spellings of the question here. So go. So as in bear and so. 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 In 2016, Governor Tambwal proposed 29.9 billion naira to the state assembly, representing 29% of budgetary allocation to education, the highest ever in the state, and also highest for that year in the country, surpassing the UNESCO benchmark for budgetary allocation to education by federal and state governments. In 2017, the allocation increased to 38.4 billion naira, 
again the highest allocation to education by any state in the country. In 2018, the figure got higher with an allocation of 57.4 billion naira. Between 2016 and 2019, two junior secondary schools each were built in all the 23 local government areas in the state. Also, four junior secondary schools were built in the state capital. The Tambwal government also commenced the renovation of 1,500 primary schools across the state and 180 junior secondary schools, which are now at over 70% completion stage. Quite a number of schools, primary and uh, junior secondary schools, were renovated. And uh, more new schools were constructed in order to allow for more access to education in Sokoto State, especially primary education. Uh, uh, the governor established a board for female education. The first time in Sokoto State that there has ever been a board for female education in Sokoto State. And uh, uh, not only that, a, a, a magnificent secondary school for girls, science, girls science secondary school academy uh, was established here in Kasara, just very close to the Sokoto metropolis here, just the outskirts of Sokoto State, mm -hmm. uh, of Sokoto metropolis. And uh, it cost the state government over to Blair Nera. Mm -hmm. It's a very big school. I will take you there, you will go and see it. And uh, it is near completion by special grace of God. In the next two months, it will be completed and uh, it will be put in place. And uh, not only that, another female school was established in Bodenga and Sengina, always a view to giving access to female. Mm -hmm. uh, because we realized uh, 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 there is a need for female to be given special uh, attention. It is interesting to note that since 2016, over 600,000 children have been enrolled in schools with a consistent rise in the number of children, especially girls, getting back to school, thus improving the lives and chances of women within the state. Between 2016 and 2017, Sokoto State recorded not less than 4.4% increase in the number of enrollment of girls into primary schools. To give more preference to female education in Sokoto State, mm -hmm. we, we, we decided to uh, uh, send about 20 female, uh, uh, female students to LM International, mm -hmm. to Rio of Church, purely based on, 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 on merit, uh, 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 and uh, 40 of them to Zaria Academy, and the Purdue of Church, and it was purely based on merit. And uh, not only that, in conjunction with UNICEF, we also come out with this cash transfer uh, uh, policy where we encourage uh, 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 our female and their parents to send their female ones to school. We, 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 we encourage this cash transfer between the state government and, 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 and the UNICEF, which has been done successfully. That is one area we have been concentrating since the declaration of state of emergency. And uh, we realize that, uh, most importantly, there is a need for extensive campaign uh, with a view to enrolling to, uh, uh, pupils mm -hmm. back to school. And uh, uh, last year alone, we were able to enroll over 75,200 pupils back to school. And this year alone, we were able to enroll back to school, out of school children, uh, uh, about 200,000 of them back to school, which is uh, a great uh, achievement indeed. To date, the state government has 2,065 primary schools with 965,535 pupils, comprising 546,675 boys and 420,860 girls. In junior secondary schools, there are 285 schools with 128,110 students, comprising 78,743 males and 49,367 females, as well as 132 senior secondary schools 
with 86,136 students comprising 54,498 male and 31,638 female. The statistics also show that presently the state government has 1,179,781 in all the schools compared to 742,679 in 2014 and 2015 respectively. Prior to the administration of Governor Atambua, one out of every two children in Sokoto State was out of school. The figure was higher for the girl child, but today, six in every 10 male children and four in every 10 girls in the state have been enrolled in school. I think we have um, about six model science schools, science and technical schools in Sokoto State, and if you go to them today, you will find out yourselves. We have Nagata College, GGC, Sokoto uh, Government Technical Forum, Government Technical College, um, uh, Runjin Sambo, uh, GTC Binji, and one other. So if you go to many of these schools, you will discover that infrastructure is lagging. Teachers, there is inadequacy of teachers, gross inadequacy of teachers. Of course, uh, uh, some teachers were employed, but I don't think they have been enough. We made a recommendation of thousands and thousands of teachers. I think there was a notice before 2019 election that 2,000 teachers were going to be employed. And from the records available, I think less than 8,000 were given offers of teaching to go and teach in some of these schools. So we need teachers. We, we also realize the importance of teachers. And uh, we, we, we try as much as possible last year alone. The governor gave us approval to employ over 2,000 teachers. Mm -hmm. And not only employ them, but also train them and retrain them. Give them the pressure courses and the in-house training mm -hmm. so that uh, they, they get further uh, professionalized. And uh, of course, we have been able to achieve that. We, 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 we recruited over 2,000 teachers from different areas of specialization. and. Uh, we have also been able to recruit, in addition to the two southern teachers, about 545 supporting staff mm -hmm. for our various schools located in different parts of the state. Ever since, the administration has built annually on the gains of the campaign with an incremental rate of 7.3% in pre-primary and primary school children, of which 4.4% are girls. A state agency for girl child education was set up to drive the campaign to get more girls into schools. To keep the children in schools up to the completion of each stage of education, the state government has been providing stipends to poor families to support enrollment and caring for their children, especially girls in schools. Since 2015, nearly 1.5 billion naira has been spent on feeding of pupils and students in primary and junior secondary schools. Some of the classrooms we are, we are renovated, furniture was provided, some teachers were employed, to be fair to the government, because we cannot say that nothing has been done. Something has been done, like I said, but to us it is not that significant, at least as significant as we expected it to be. So some teachers were employed, some schools were built, some were renovated, of course, and some teachers were employed. But I think there is a waste somewhere that the state government has to be honest enough to face and, and, and save our schools. Well, you see, the campaign for enrollment of children back to school is continuous. Yes. So it is every day increasing. Mm -hmm. So I cannot tell you that the number of schools we have uh, is adequate because more and more are being enrolled through campaigns and so many like the cash transfer I have just uh, spoken about, and so many other uh, 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 strategies mm -hmm. that will help encourage uh, 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 our, our, our pupils back to school. Mm -hmm. So I cannot boldly say that uh, the number of schools we have is adequate to cater. It's a continuous process. The more we have children back to school, the more schools uh, structures we provide. Mm -hmm. For Governor Amin Waziri Tambwal, there is no shortcut to achieving basic education for all, hence the establishment of Female Education Board to boost girl-child education across the state with 189.2 million naira 
supply of textbooks to basic and post-basic schools, reducing by nearly 76% the number of out-of-school children in the state, provision of furniture to basic and secondary schools in the state, e-learning program for primary and secondary school pupils during COVID-19 lockdown, among others. The problem comes with lack of focus on what the government wants to do specifically. There are many examples to show. Now, we live in a state where many of our schools most of our schools need renovation. They need infrastructure. They need uh, teachers. But the state government is busy spending money on examinations, on registrations, which is the sole responsibility of parents. And I think the government must be honest with education. If at all they are serious about uh, helping the situation, there are things that are responsibilities of the parents. There are things that are responsibilities of the government. So government should take our responsibilities first before it goes to take the responsibility of the parent. Students get registered to study at every institution of learning, whether basic, secondary, basic education is free anyway. So we are talking about government spending billions on WIAC, NACO, JAM, and university registration for students, which if this money had been invested in our schools, I'm telling you, the, the story would have been different. But the government has abandoned her own responsibility and is taking the responsibility of parents. We have been able from, from last year to, 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 to this year alone, we have been able to pay over 2.5 billion naira to all the examination bodies. Hmm. That is WAIC, NECO, and uh, NAPTEB, and the MBIS. And uh, uh, none of the examination body, all the three I mentioned, we are not any one of them, not a single couple. No, 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 no examination body. Uh, so go to state does not owe any examination body, a single couple. And uh, we have been we have been able to quite unlike what is obtained in other in other states. Yes, it is different uh, case entirely in Sokoto State. We have paid all what is due to us by all the examination bodies. Okay. We decided to go for NACO and MBIS instead of WAIC. Mm -hmm. We deliberately choose to stop writing WAIC because nobody said it is mandatory, we must write, our student must write WAIC. No, 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 it is not the case. NACO and NAPTEV were established by the federal government of Nigeria. Yes. Yeah? The uh, Nigerian, uh, the, our local mm -hmm. examination bodies, mm -hmm. which we have obligation to patronize. Yeah. And that is why we decided to patronize them. So nobody said we must write work. work. Yes, this examination bodies, uh, 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 to examination for all senior secondary schools. What informs the federal government to establish this examination bodies in the first place? Oh. Why well, it doesn't belong to the federal government? Okay. Okay. Yes, but we are part of those countries, West African countries. Why prefer examination for all West African countries? Mm -hmm. Was the head office in Ghana? Mm -hmm. What informs the question you should ask is what informs the federal government to establish NECO and with about 10 tertiary institutions fully funded, experts here say Sokoto State Government is making appreciable investments on education at both basic, post-basic and tertiary levels. For close watchers of the massive forward leave of Sokoto in basic education since Tambwal assumed office in 2015 as governor, 
the state has never had it so good. 